Avastar is a complex add-on for Blender, and if you want to get the most out of it, then it is evident to know how to work with it. We have taken a few precautions to help you get your tasks done with the tool. And this video is about how you can get help when you are stuck. Well, first of all you find a growing number of documents on our blog. Of course you always can browse to our website and find your way to the information. But when you are working in Blender then you have a few more options. We have added a link to our blog right into the Blender help menu. This link will open the main Avastar help page. But there is another quick step to our help system. When you have an early version of Blender 2.64, then you can right-click on any of the Avastar action buttons to open a selection menu. When you click on the online manual entry, then you will be guided to a context-sensitive help page. Whenever something goes really wrong during your work with Avastar, then you will get a direct visual feedback at several places. First of all, a message box opens up. This box contains a more detailed description why things might have gone wrong. And you always find a link to the Avastar help pages too. Clicking on this help button will open the corresponding help page in your browser. A very brief summary about what happened can always be found on Blender's status line. Here you find summary informations, warnings and error messages. Blender also has an embedded session log. You can access it by dragging the top menu bar down a bit. There you find a complete log of what happened during your active Blender session. When Avastar encounters an error, then you can always find a corresponding error report in the Blender console. With Blender 2.64 you can open the console from the window menu entry in the main menu bar. When you use an older version of Blender, then this button is located in the help section. Whenever you got stuck, and when the help system does actually not help you to solve your issue, then you still have a couple of other possibilities to move on. We offer a support forum on the Machinimatrix blog. Here you can ask your questions. And in most cases you will get quick help to solve your issue. In Second Life we maintained the chat group Blender Avastar. Joining this group is free for everybody. So even if you have not purchased Avastar, then you still may get instant advice or help on Blender issues from there. You also can send us an email if that is your preferred way to communicate. So, we are doing a lot to get you informed. The documentation is under constant review and it will be completed while we work on the release of Avastar 1.0. For now we wish you a lot of fun and not too many issues, have a great day, and maybe see you later in the chat group.